It's Virgo Triad here, and today is October 26, 2017. Um, I am going to go over uh, the information with regards to verifying these TDA accounts with Telecheck. There seems to be a great number of questions that have been coming out with regards to this. This seems to be something that keeps popping up, and I had hoped that I had answered the questions with my first Telecheck video, but it seems that they need to be a bit more specific, so I'm going to do that now. Now, I have personally spoken with Telecheck, and I know that uh, the verification system that is used for businesses um, and for persons uh, or individuals is, is totally different than what people are being told it is. So what I'm going to do at this point is I am going to go over what actually happens during a verification process and the reason behind why it's not verifying a secret account. Uh, no matter what number bank numbers you give to them, provided that the routing number is an actual routing number within the routing number system, they are not verifying that account. They have no access to that account. They have no access to knowing what the balance is in that account, to knowing whether or not that account is actually there in your name. Let me try to explain and go into this a little bit deeper. First of all, let's go over what Telecheck actually is quickly. Um, so you can see from their own uh, FAQ section that Telecheck is a check acceptance company. Telecheck helps more than 374,000 merchant locations decide whether to accept check transactions by analyzing information about check transactions that previously have been sent through its system. If Telecheck did not approve your check transaction, we apologize for the inconvenience. For more information, please write or call them. Okay, is Telecheck telling the store that your check is transaction is not good? No, Telecheck never tells the store that a check is good or bad. If your check is not approved, it simply means that Telecheck does not have enough information about your check to approve the transaction or that you may have an unpaid check or debt that they are holding in their system for collection. Now, let me help you to understand that this very statement right here starts off with our story, okay? No, Telecheck cannot tell a store that your check is good or bad. And the reason why is because Telecheck has no legal right to look into that account. If a process transaction goes through on ACH because it is allowed to go through, because those funds can be tapped immediately, you are providing permission. Telecheck, however, works a little bit differently. Telecheck processes checks for companies as a third party and provides a guarantee on those checks. So that means that they're vetting people to ensure that they themselves are credit worthy and check writing history worthy in order to be credited should there be an issue and Telecheck have to step in and actually pay the merchant for a check that isn't covered through your bank account. They're not vetting your account. They're vetting you personally, either as an individual or as a corporation based on the individuals that are the parties that are acting as for a corporation, a CEO or a CFO or an owner or a president for an individual uh, sole proprietorship. Telecheck has absolutely no access to any bank accounts, any bank account balances. As you can see on their own website, does Telecheck have access to my bank account balance? No. Telecheck never knows the balance of your account. Decisions are made based on information in Telecheck's files and a statistical analysis of your check compared to all checks that have passed through the Telecheck system. Now, if you call and you ask to verify, to get verified as a business checking through checking account through the Telecheck verification system now, as opposed to doing it a month and a half ago when all of this got started, and you 
fill out the application and you put a Federal Reserve routing number down and your Social Security number or the number on the back of your Social Security card as the account, they're going to deny you. And the reason why they're going to deny you is because now they realize that people that are using the Federal Reserve routing numbers are all up to the same thing. They cannot verify the accounts. They can't see balances in the accounts. So therefore, because of that, they are not even going to attempt to try to process your application. However, a month and a half ago, they were attempting to try to process your application because what people do not understand is that Telecheck is not part of the government. Telecheck technically is not even part of the banking system. They are not actually covered by the F Federal Reserve Bank. They are not insured by the Federal Reserve Bank. They are a data processing service, a third party whose business they've made of their own to provide backing, a guarantee to those who use their services. They have statistical data that they analyze based on your check writing history versus the check writing history of others. So how they came about knowing that you have a uh, been used or that you're using in a, in a, a routing number that is going to lead them nowhere because the routing numbers for the Federal Reserve are actually routing numbers that are only allowed to be used by other banks that are covered by the FDIC that are able to make wire transactions. What has happened is their system has gotten such a large amount of applicants with the Federal Reserve routing numbers that at this point it is now matching up to a multitude of others that they have verified uh, based on the fact that the individual has absolutely no history with um, telecheck that is negative. They do not have a history of fraud or bouncing checks with telecheck. Telecheck has not had to cover a check that wasn't paid back. And their check writing history with other accounts has been a good thing. So in the beginning, they allowed those applications to go through, especially since the majority of them were business applications. They were verifying you as an individual of that company. They were not verifying the actual account. Once those accounts began to become used and they realized they were coming back as canceled or reversals, at that point it sent off a red flag. And of course, realizing that the Federal Reserve routing numbers are what is being used on all of these accounts, though that has now been dealt with and Telecheck is no longer allowing those applications to be processed at all. They will simply put your application on hold until you call them and then they will notify you that your account is not going to be ver verified because your routing number is not a consumer routing number. Now, for those people that were verified, quote unquote, and they think their account was verified through Telecheck, here is actually what ended up happening. Yes, you were verified as a business through Telecheck, you, yourself, as an individual, as a check writer for your company. However, the minute that that comes back in either ACH form or in a written form check that you've had printed up, Telecheck now flags that. You now no longer will be able to use that account. But some of you might have gotten it through uh, Amazon or other companies, grocery stores and whatnot, that allowed you to do it once or twice until it got caught up with. Regardless, the accounts were the uh, accounts were not there. Therefore, they came back as canceled, uh, no account available, or reversed. And Telecheck at that point is now on the hook for them. Okay, since there was such a big run on of this, they have now stopped that. But what's more important in this video is that people actually realize what it is that is done in order to um, verify a person. So I'm going to go down here to how does Telecheck do it. Telecheck sees a lot of checks and the data Telecheck derives from these checks provides tremendous analytical opportunity to fight fraud. Debt verification. Telecheck maintains a live database 
comprised of check and bank account debt records reported by hundreds of thousands of merchants. Not them, merchants. Telecheck can verify the presence or lack of unpaid debt related to a check writer in response to subscribing merchant queries and provide check acceptance decision based on what it finds. Here we go, folks. This tells it to you right here. They're not verifying the account. They can't verify the account. They're not a government entity and they are not a bank. They are not insured in order to go into your account or the Federal Reserve Banking System in order to double check what accounts are real or not. They can verify a routing number the same as you and I can and the same as any merchant can. Any more a merchant who you write a check to that you have the check in your hand as the merchant. You can't call and verify the funds are available over the phone. They won't allow you to anymore. I know. I'm a merchant. Okay? They have stopped all of that because of the fraud that has taken place. If, you're, if you have become verified through Telecheck, you didn't verify anything having to do with the account number. You didn't verify that the account is there. What you did was verify yourself because you yourself were able to withstand the stringent uh, analytics that come in from the merchants, not from Telecheck. Telecheck is just holding the database that holds this information. You pass through their verification system because you're not a bad check writer. Or you pass through their verification because you are a new check writer. Or you pass through their verification system because you are not who you, you have submitted someone who you really are not. Any way you cut it, you're not passing verification for the account. You're passing verification for you as the individual. So once again, Debt verification. Telecheck maintains a live database comprised of check and bank account debt records. So that means that merchants that have bad check writers are submitting their databases to Telecheck in exchange for, in, in exchange with Telecheck services all over the nation. In order for them to compile listings of people that are high risk and what their activities are that are high risk, they are not looking into a specific account. They don't have the legal right to. Therefore, they're not able to verify anything about an account existing or not, only the routing number. If someone, like a credit card processing company, is going to verify an account and you give them permission to do so they must be able to not only withdraw funds but not only deposit funds but withdraw funds which would mean that there would be a process a verification process that would need to take place let me give you an example when you for those of you that have had a paypal account in the past you have to link your bank account to your PayPal account in order for them to deposit your uh, eBay or whoever's paying you funds. And in order to do that, what does PayPal do? They submit a small, usually 11 cents or 17 cents or 4 cents, two separate transactions that they deposit into your bank account. You are then required to go into your bank account, since they can't, and you have to get those amounts and verify those amounts through PayPal's secure system. And until you do that and provide that information, PayPal won't pay you, will they? The reason why is because PayPal doesn't have the legal right. They are simply a company. They don't have the legal right to go into your private bank account, see what your balance is, and see whether or not those uh, fees actually went in to, or those uh, amounts actually went into your account. You have to verify that information. Now, on the other hand, the banking side of PayPal is able to. Uh, 
request information from you and an agree has an agreement with you that, by the way, you do electronically sign after the verification of the account, that they can legally deposit and withdraw from that account based on overages, overcharges, back charges, uh, and of course, you know, anything that you request personally. But that happens after the verification of the account. You must be the one to verify the account because they cannot just reach into your account without your permission. And verifying that you are the owner of the account is the very start of that contractual agreement. That happens with anyone who is a payment processor or deals at all with making direct deposits, such as Telecheck. Until the account is actually verified as a business, they do have to verify your checking account in order for them to make deposits on ACH payments that are made by customers. But you're not there yet. When you fill the application out, you still have to verify that checking account if you choose to go with Telecheck. Now, this is a totally different area than what you guys have been told to do. What you guys have been told to do is to get yourself verified, to get your quote-unquote secret account verified. You cannot get an account verified by a data company. You would have to actually become verified as a business, become verified as the financial officer of that business, which is what you're doing in that first step. The second step is that you sign up for processing with Telecheck. Then you get the banking end of Telecheck. That is when the agreements to withdraw and deposit checks come in, and you would need to verify your accounts before they legally could come to an agreement with you. So I hope you understand that this is the difference between what the gurus are telling you about Telecheck and what is real about being verified through Telecheck. You can be verified through Telecheck, as a business without going through the processing end of it because obviously with the TDA accounts you may have a business but you're not signing up with Telecheck in order to use their services so all they're doing is verifying you as a service check writer that is it they're not verifying the account they're verifying you and I know that to a lot of you, you're going to say, well, that doesn't seem right. But it is right. Because legally, Telecheck is just a data holding service. And until you move past into the servicing processing area of Telecheck, you're just another consumer. And they have no legal right to go in to an account, look at an account, to... Uh, See if an account is valid, they would have to make those deposits. It's an electronic service, and that isn't something they're going to do, spend the time or money to do on someone who's not signing up for their processing. They are simply verifying you as an individual check writer for that business or for you as an individual. You can call up and request to be verified as an individual. You've been told to call and become verified as a business. And I'm telling you all right now that unless you were able to actually go in and verify those deposits that were made by Telecheck because you signed up for processing, and anyone who signed up for processing with Telecheck or Synergy or First Data Network or any of them can tell you that's exactly what you have to do. And until then, you're not verified. You're not verified in order for them to make deposits for you that your customers do ACHs on. It's just they sit, it, they sit it in an escrow account and hold it for you. But until you verify your own account, you are not verified as a business in their processing area. So when you, when you fill out the application and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and you think it means something that they're coming back and saying, yes, you're verified, all that means is that you personally 
do not have a bad history in writing checks according to their analytics. You personally can become verified when you choose to go with their service or if you choose to write a check outside of, um, you know, as a business outside, like you go to Costco, you write a check. They run it through the process of telecheck. Telecheck's going to automatically approve it because you've become verified through their service. But once that check comes back, once that check comes back, you're dead in the water. Too many of those checks came back, too many of those ACHs came back, and now they're no longer accepting the federal routing numbers because they realized what people were doing. So I'm hoping you understand. If you don't and you have questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Please share, like, and subscribe this video. I really need for this information to get out there because this telecheck information seems to be something people continue to get stuck on. Now, if you feel that what I'm telling you is inaccurate, please pick up the phone and call telecheck because it's not inaccurate. I've spoken with them personally. It's directly on their first data telecheck website, which I will list the link in the description. You're not proving anything by becoming verified through telecheck unless you become an actual subscriber to their processing. And then the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to provide them with the amounts that they make the initial direct deposit with in order for you to use that secret account that you have no idea where it's located. It isn't going to work because you do not know where it's located and you don't know how to get a balance on it. This is just another way for the gurus to try to get you to um, believe what's being said. And it's erroneous. It is irrelevant and it means absolutely nothing. I'm sure I'll get lots of comments that probably are try going to try to dispute this, but I ask all of you that are will wanting to leave those types of comments, pick up the phone, call Telecheck. Instead of sitting and trying to dispute with me, just pick up the phone and call them, because that's what I did this morning, and that's the answer that I received, and this is what's on their website. And I can go back in history and tell you that for the last... 12 years, I have had dealings with Telecheck, and I know exactly what happens when you have to get processed as a new business in order to become fully verified to use their service. So, once again, I hope this is helpful. I hope this clears things up. Everybody take care and have a great afternoon. Tomorrow's Friday. Bye-bye.